today we are in Inverness and behind us is Los Compadres. And in fact, the, oh, sorry, the red building right there, Cinnamon Sticks that we did a review on. So this is just across the street from Cinnamon Sticks. Um, fun fact, it used to actually be Habaneros until recently, I believe. Yeah. And so we're gonna go try Los Compadres. Let's go check it out. Looks like there's a couple tables outside for some outdoor seating. Right there's cinnamon sticks. We have Los Compadres Mexican Grill. Let's see if we can get some hours. They also have some seats on this side of the building. Little statue out front. Special today. I don't know how to say that. Nice. $21.99. And then hours. Monday through Thursday, 11 to 9.30, Friday, 11 to 10.30, Saturday, 11 to 10.30, Sunday, 11 to 9. And if you pay by cash, you will save, it looks like. Let's see what the inside looks like. It's where you'll get seated, little sitting area. Happy hours, two to six. Looks like we'll be in here, coming this way. And looks like we'll be over here. Looks like we'll be right here in this booth. Here's a look of the inside. So there's the bar. There is some additional seating over there. It looks like they they closed it for today. And then just out the door that way right there are the restrooms. It is cold in here. Wow. Here's what the chips look like. Here's the salsa. And it is happy hour right now. So I ordered a margarita on the rocks with salt. Here is the menu. Over here we have appetizers. We will try some cheese dip. Salads. Soups. And then some steak and pork dishes. Enchiladas. Burritos. Chicken dishes. There's that arroz con pollo. super nachos and then we have seafood raspberry chipotle salmon quesadillas and fajitas create your own combo street tacos and then on the very back is their lunch menu which is served monday through friday 11 a.m to 3 p.m Of course, it's always kind of difficult to have anything labeled gluten-friendly in here. I don't see anything that's labeled gluten-friendly. No, I don't see where they have just like a plain cheese quesadilla, but I'm going to ask and see because I always like trying just a regular cheese quesadilla. Let's try the salsa. That's pretty tasty salsa. Kind of seems a little spicy at first. Hmm. It's good though. We are going to share the arroz con pollo with sour cream, a small cheese dip, and then I'm going to ask about the cheese quesadilla. Here's a look at the house margarita. That's a pretty large margarita. I'll, cu I'll be curious to see what the price is during happy hour. Here's the margarita. It's a decent margarita. It's a good size. So we already got our food, but she thought she brought the cheese dip and there is no cheese dip. So kind of a strike one, they didn't bring the cheese dip out first before our actual meal. But here's a look at the rose con pollo and she said it does come with sour cream. So there's sour cream there. And they do have a quesadilla, cheese quesadilla. But again, we haven't gotten our cheese dip yet. They also brought us tortillas, which is weird. We've never had tortillas with a rose con pollo before. So they brought out the cheese dip. Here's what it looks like. I think it was $3.99, wasn't it? $4.99 for this cheese dip. The same. And it's extremely loud in here. $4.99 for the same size as you get with the salsa. Here's what the quesadilla looks like. Let's give that a try. Here we go. It's actually not a bad quesadilla. Curious to see what the price is though, because that'll depend on if it's worth it or not. Let's try the cheese dip. Pretty good consistency. Here we go. I will say, that's very good cheese dip. Really, really good cheese dip. Now for the arroz con pollo. 
That's good. I like that. That's tasty. We'll just see the price of everything and see if it's actually worth it or not. What do you think so far? The roast con pollo is good. Um, you said the chips were kind of... I don't know. It could just be me. They taste like, I don't know, not as good. They're a little harder than normal, too. Yeah, I don't really know, but... The rose con pollo is good. Yeah. So they gave us three tortillas, so I'm actually going to try some of the rose con pollo in a tortilla. Let's give this a try. I mean, it kind of makes it like a fajita. It's actually not bad. It gives you a little bit extra food with the tortilla added to it. Ate the quesadilla, ate the tortillas, got a little bit left of that. Working on the cheese dip and some more salsa. All right, here's a look at the receipt. So the quesadilla was $4.99. That's not bad at all. Did she give us the queso dip for free since she forgot it? I think they did. I think they gave us the queso for free. Because it came after our meal came. The margarita was $4.99 during happy hour. That's not bad at all. So total before tip was $26.42. All right, we finished the cheese dip, finished the food, finished the salsa. Chips are almost gone. Oh my. That was awful. Is that a violin over there you're playing? Oh my. <laughs> but now we're ready to go. They do have some cutouts there that you can get a photo op with. All right, now we're heading out, and you can see there was women's restroom, men's restroom. Heading out this way. Back outside. All right, that was our trip out to Los Compadres here in Inverness. Mixed feelings about it, honestly. Um, they made it right. We did not complain at all about the cheese dip, no. but I think they felt bad since our food came out and we still had no cheese dip. They gave it to us for free. So they made up for that. The Everything was decent. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily say like, oh, it was stinking good. Right. Ah. There was the only cheese like- cheese dip was okay. Yeah, the margarita was pretty cheap though, $4.99 during happy hour. So That's that was good. that was good. Um, it used to be what it cost regularly. Yeah, <laughs> they were low staffed, so. I, yeah. 50 50. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of hit or miss. It wasn't a terrible experience. No. So. Had they charged us for the cheese dip, brought it after our meal and stuff, probably would have had a little different kind of feelings for it. But overall. They recognized. Yeah. Didn't and, think. I mean, they were nice. They No one was rude or anything like that. So it was a fine experience. Yeah. Again, it's right across from Cinnamon Sticks. Um, I don't know. Just gives another place that you can go try if. If you're out in this area looking for a place. Yeah, uh, I know they have a couple other Mexican restaurants. One of them is uh, Los, uh, Los Magueyes. Los Magueyes, Los Magueyes, whichever way you say it. I, someone told us how to say it and I still can't wrap my mind around it. But anyways, we did a review on that in Wildwood and I know they have one in Inverness as well. Yeah. So. I'd probably just go to that one instead. But sometimes that one is very busy. So this one's... Not a bad option, I mean, but anyway, I'm full. So that, that did what it needed to do. True. And with that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.